What's up, VG here? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna sing a song called Can't Steal My Wife by um, The Horror Streets. And I don't have a wife and I don't even have a girlfriend yet, but I'm just singing this song because I can't think of anything else to sing. So here it is. I was the fourth the regent king, which means I was just standing in. Acting king because my dad, George the Third, had gone barking mad. Great palaces I did design, Buckingham was one of mine. Art and fashion, isolated and white, that's more complicated. Duchesses and 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 Cause I already, already had a wife A divorced Catholic That could side with the man who could just wouldn't die I'm still here! Look, the boat At last I can go solo! As true king my reign began But now I was now older than your man And as the ruler of all nations I found my wife in my coronation And knowing now that I did pay to she found me dead just three weeks later But all the times that I got through And ten years later I died too Have we met? I'm the kangaroo I just see this guy to see the great love of my life I love more girls than I hate my life Couldn't stand my wife I just take these on the throne Do you remember that? I was really fat. Measly middle ages. Which is what after which is what what's after I know by the sound. It's not long enough for a video, can I say asking another one? I'm gonna react to something called the Pharaoh Report, Horror Histories. Let's see what this is. the news at when when ancient egyptian times over 3000 years ago when the ruler of egypt was a 9 year old boy called tutankhamun he it's had incredible. a very strange family for more details here's bob hale with the pharaoh report thank you sam well it's 1341 bc and we're over here in ancient egypt where a wickle baby has just been born and his name is tutankhamun now he's also known as tutankhamun tutankhamun tutankhaten amun tut and steve steve <laughs> King Tut Dad was also a king, a pharaoh called Archon Archon. At least we think that his dad. It's very hard to be sure because it was so long ago that no one can really remember. Not even my nan. And she's really old, though. She certainly doesn't look it. Love you, nan. What we do know is that when King Tut was just six years old, Archon Archon died. Yes, his daddy became a mummy, which is a very complex operation. And King Tut's big brother, Sminky, becomes pharaoh. And then promptly dies. Only to be replaced by his sister, Nephi. Who then promptly dies, meaning that at just nine years old, Tutankhamun becomes Pharaoh, which I think is fair enough. All right, really? all right, no more jokes. Of course, running a country is no job for a nine-year-old because it's far too boring. So King Tut's uncle turns up, a chap called I, and he says he will keep an eye on things. Sorry, sorry, forgot. So Uncle I runs the country so that King Tut can get on with doing all the fun stuff that kids do, like playing games, going to school, and getting married. Yep, getting married. And if you thought that was weird, what? to keep his royal bloodline pure, his new wife is also his sister. Ew. She used to be his stepmom, so it's oh. not all Ew. Anyway, King Tut grows up, Uncle I hands over power to Mr. and Mrs. Tut, and they rule Egypt together as husband and wife, mum, sister, oh. and that's the end of that. No. Also, we thought, oh. but the history books tell us that Uncle I didn't want to give up power, so he killed King Tut by bashing him on the head, a little something like that. <laughs> That'll do it. 
He said that didn't do it. No, it turns out the history books got it wrong. And King Tut actually died from an infected broken leg, leaving poor old Mrs. Tut with a broken heart and the crown of Egypt, Sad. which of course Uncle I wants for himself. And how does he plan to get it? Well, by marrying Mrs. Tut, even though she's his granddaughter, which is Ew. times this much. Ew. Oh. But Mrs. Tut has other ideas. She decides to marry a foreign prince called Zananza instead because he's got such a cool name. But sadly, <laughs> Zananza gets cold feet. Cold everything, in fact, because he dies. Yes, killed on his way to Egypt by a very jealous Uncle I, who then finally marries his granddaughter, and they live happily ever after, ruling Egypt together for ages and ages, and that is definitely the end of that. No question, cross my heart, scouts on us, where on my nan's life. And what a life she's led. Born in Dublin to a blind dance player, she became the first woman ever to swim across Ireland. And would you believe it? She's 99 today. So come on, everyone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nanny Bob. Happy birthday to you. I'm back over to Sam to blow out the candle. Sam. Well, that was awkward. I can show us for another video, though. Leave a comment below and let me know what we want to react to next and what to sing next. Please subscribe. It's somewhere around me. Maybe it's just leave a thumbs up. Love you all so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, peace.